plot twist. See what I plan to do differently in part two of creating cards in 10 minutes. Stay tuned. Hello, my crafty friends, and welcome back to my channel and part two of creating six St. Patrick's Day cards in 10 minutes. I'm using the March 2022 sheet load sketch from Call Me Crafty Owl. And as I said earlier, I have changed my mind. Instead of using these strips right here, I'm going to be putting the sentiment on a die cut piece here. It says Happy St. Patrick's Day and it's got some cute decorations on it which we will be coloring. So I'm going to be die cutting out this oval. It just fits. I'm going to be stamping first and then die cutting. I will go ahead and cut out the die cutting part but I will keep the timer running. So when you when you see one number and then you see a next number, <laughs> know that, yeah, I just cut out the die cutting so it wouldn't be boring. Okay, I'm gonna be using my Onyx Black ink again. And let's get 10 minutes on the clock. And there we go. This sentiment is from the stamp set from Globeland. Um, I bought it from Amazon, but the company is Globeland. In case you're wondering why I'm stamping this now, it's part of the system of making every making everything at once assembly line as it were making all the elements that are going to go on the card front before I assemble the cards when you're making several of one kind I think that's the way to go of course if you're just making one unique card then, of course, that one didn't come out real well, did it? Okay. I just want to make sure I have plenty of room for the oval. I got five on this one. I will go ahead and just put one here. This is just 65 pound white cardstock. If you have scraps, you can certainly do that too. I cut this in half so it would fit onto my platform. All right, there we go. Okay, let's go ahead and get started on the die cutting. Okay, here we go. How are we doing? Oh, okay, good. So there's, there's my six pieces that we're going to put on the front. And we're going to color and decorate. Okay, let's go ahead and put these together. the glitter. You can't have too much glitter on St. Patrick's Day, right? Kind of like Christmas.
cute cats. I love that. Everything likes to hide in its little nooks and crannies. It takes time to find. Okay, I think I just ran out of tape. Oh, that's right. <laughs> this doesn't want to work on this paper for some reason. Okay. So we're going to have to glue it. It's probably best anyway because I think it'll stay better on the glitter. Okay, make a nice little border around it. Let it dry, I think. And that'll stay. Okay. Time is up. I did have a few little... <laughs> little fumbles there but we got the first piece on and we're gonna build from that and I got all these die cut they're gonna go in the front of the cards like so and then of course the best part the decorating at the very end Thank you so much for watching, and stay tuned for part three. See you soon. Bye-bye.